1942 from Harvey Pool, I moved to Crow. Found myself a job to do, working on the railway. I was wearing corduroy bridges, digging ditches, pulling switches, dodging hitches. I was working. Good evening, everyone. Uh, last minute standing for Brian, so um, about five o'clock I started looking for a piece of wood to turn. Um, and this is the one I ended up with. Piece of cherry, let's try that view. Um, but I cleaned it up after taking the picture for the um, thumbnail. Found a great big split, which I've uh, put some super glue in and hopefully it will hold together. Let's introduce you to the reprobates. Dun, dun, dun. Reprobates. That's not nice, is it? I have my uh, support crew in, starting with the lovely Joe. Good evening. Debatable. And then the hobbling Brian. The hobbling. The Hob hobble. Hobbling. The hobble. The yeah. hobble and the hobbit. The only worker amongst the crew, Steve. Good evening. All yeah, the only well. worker, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you keep working, Steve. Paying my pension. I'll keep you all boys happy in your pensions. Yeah, you're the most advanced pensioner, you, Terry. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Still we'll claiming, the always and, claiming uh, the pension. Every Terry week, drops on my doorstep. <laughs> so, um, me too. Let's get it spun, shall we? Yeah, spin it, spin it up, lad. Spin it up. Spin it up. Stick it in the back. Right there. Bing. Did somebody say earlier that a Yorkshireman was just a, a Yorkshireman was just a Scotsman with his sense of humour removed? Is that? Is that hear that? Is that some yeah, trick you that right, you said that. Did it? Put yourself on full screen, Pete. So you tell us a Scotsman's got a sense of humour? Is that what you're saying? Oh yeah. Yeah, of course. No, yeah, they haven't, have they? <laughs> Ask Mister Conley. He'll tell you. Here we go. All right. Okay, I have actually sort of just true this up. All right, while Pete's doing that, Joe, you best read the chat out. Watch, or, yeah, you better read it out, Joe, because yes, we all have a laugh. Yes, then. boss. We're all going to yes, have a laugh. Then. Yes, boss. You better read it out, Joe, because the others are amateurs. Yeah, Shaking the bush, boss. Uh, well, he knows how to... to, to uh... Anyway. Oh, you're such a now you've finished filling your face with welcome. a big hot cross bun. Right, thanks for that. It's all right. <laughs> Good evening, One's everybody, hot, hot, and welcome. Evening, Joe. I've got a certain sense about this evening already. Sense? Mm. Have you a sense? Mm -hmm. Have you? That's a nice bit of gizmo you got there, Peter. Have you the only oh, yeah, sense wait, that's the quite nice. And you, is, it, is that just for the S, SC, uh, SK114, that, is it? You could do it for any um, truck. You could do it for any truck. I just made, made out a piece of wood. I know. So I was kind of hoping that was for the record power trucks, and then I didn't <sighs> have to make one. <laughs> you can make yeah, well, one. Yeah, well, it's... Um, Measure your jewels. I just cut. Hang on. Let's bring it back in frame. I just cut these to the mortises. Mm -hmm. And then I just mark in the width of the jewel to make the, the tenon size. So. Excellent. It's easy to make. Um, just got to measure your jewels and get on with it. That's true, yeah. So I'm going to get in on with it. We're going for a tenant yeah. tonight, anyway. Get on with it, Hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. Oh. Oh, I can't get a word in there. Joe is here. Oh, okay. Anyway, welcome. So we have <laughs> Shane Hurst, Norman Greenwell, oh, dear. William Kenny, Paul oh, Finley, so Wood Turning at Home, Paul Hoyton, the Grace B. Turner, Pack it in. Todd <laughs> Blake Darren. of Woodworks. <laughs> Royce the Boy. <laughs> 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 Klondike Crestler, Des Barnwell. <laughs> oh, we have Doug Miller at Woodspun Round. Ward Wilson. James Crawford. Oh, James. Terry Bartlett. Terry. Got Michelle Usby. Good evening, Michelle. Mickey. Oh, no, Michelle's on. Oh, God. He's in. <laughs> We've got Brian from Greenhaven Creations. Let's see if I could say it. Brian. Keep it going down. 9K Creations. Matt Whittington. Chris Glanville. 
Mick Jews, very chitty. Oh. I made now, you a bit. I used the wrong mark. <laughs> I know I've not read. <laughs> you may have won. I used the wrong mark on the on the jig. Oh, very Sorry. good. Doesn't look right. Oh, anyway. <laughs> that did you cross say Chris Blanro as well? Yeah. Yes, I did. Graham Hain. Graham and Hain, yeah. Woodworks. Yeah, look There's 43 that, people yeah. in the chat, apparently. I've not read 43 names out. So no, they, they, they're, they're not necessarily in the chat, are they? They're watching. Four, four, lurking four, in the background. Yeah, yeah lurking in the lurking. background. Good Welcome, everybody, everyone. anyway, to Pete's Live. Thanks for coming and supporting Enjoy yourself. Pete. Lucy Bundy Rose just come in. Yeah. This is a piece Hello, of cherry. Um, well, look, American lovely cherry, bit of cherry, too. cherry. American cherry. Lovely looking piece of cherry, that too. Have I uh, remember correctly Malcolm that cherry is really easy to has crack? joined us. Crack, cherry, always crack, yeah. Malcolm cherry Douglas. is lovely. It's cherry cracks for fun. It smells nice, it looks good. Malcolm was in earlier, but you forgot to say, Joseph. So evening, Malcolm Douglas. Again. Good evening, good uh, evening, good evening. Michelle again, yeah. Malcolm, your name just disappears. disappears. When I'm reading it, I do apologise. You just don't like him, I know that. That's what it is. I didn't to get out say that. Stop being a troublemaker, you. That's his middle name, Joe. What trouble? <laughs> Terry Troublemaker Bray. That's it. Mm. Got it. Terry Ermintrude Troublemaker Bray. Ermintrude. Ermintrude. Where did you get the Ermintrude from? That's a good one. Right. Isn't that a cow off? Um... Magic roundabout. Is it? Yeah. Susie. Yep. Susie, the Swiss oh, Good evening. Susie. Hello, Susie. Hey, Welcome, Susie. everybody. Thank you for Seth coming in. Even good. Seth, Seth is in. Hi, Seth. How you doing? I haven't seen Hi. Seth for a while. No, I haven't seen Seth. Good man. I'll be well. okay, I Seth. I forgot to uh, say the size on this. It was uh, 230 by 70. Oh. Mm. Can't you convert Did that for us? Nearly Thank three you. inches. Yeah. Just over yeah. eight. Two seventy is ten and uh, five eighths. And what did you say it was seventy? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, two and three quarters. Yeah, it's, it's a it's a bit under eight, Plus. a bit under nine actually, eight, eight and a half, eight three quarter. And Benjamin's um, in. A bit under three. Oh, sorry, two twenty. Did you say it? Oh no, it's Andy's in. Oh, did you say two twenty? Across. Yeah. Right, that's eight and uh, eight and five eighths. Yeah, so we said eight, eight and three quarter ish by um, just under three. Yep, two and three quarters to be precise. It's not actually because I'm probably going to lose oh, yeah. at least an eighth when I true that oh. up. Probably. That's good to hear, Seth. Mate, you're getting on well, mate, and I know about work. Well, I don't know much about work actually these days. But it is great to see you in, mate, and I'm glad you're keeping well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Hi, Julie. Hi, Julie. Well, well, so, well spotted, Joe. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much, Brian. Well, that's only because she just like briefly woke up for a minute. She's gone back to sleep again. Just like right? lightning. Gonna be like lightning. Like, no. Looks like. Uh, oh no, is Andy? He's joined the Phono Club today to embarrass a bit of real naming. We know who it is. Question, Brian, how did you get on the dentist treatment of the um, horses? All, horse, all six horses were checked, and there's only one horse, uh, the old one, who's a 20-year-old, has got one, um, one of these holes in his upper right uh, jaw. Um, it's a tiny bit loose, but he's fine for that. That's not bad. No. Yeah. All the rest were grand. Excellent. And what the vet say about your teeth? Um... I've just have to, I have to go to the dentist on the 4th of April. Stop reminding me. Oh, okay. You got told to stop eating hay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because my palms start to sweat as soon as it... Oh, I stop it. Yeah. Right here, yeah. It's only a dentist. It's only next yeah. week, isn't it? Yeah. Shush. I went to see my dentist the other day. Shush. Me, everything's fine. And he said to Ruth, you need this and the other. Every time we go to the dentist, you always got something done. I don't. Pretty good. 
What's this? Oh no, is that Andy? Is that you talking about Brian? What's this? What's this? What's this? Have I missed something? I don't know, but we know who it is, but Lucy can't figure out who it is. Lucy. Oh. How many Andys do you know, Lucy, in the chat? Oh no, it's Other Andy. Other than yours. But try the one sitting next to you, Lucy. I don't know. I am. It's not. It's not Andy the Bundy Row, is it? I don't no, think it is. Probably. No, I don't. No, it's probably the woodwork. Used to be a learner. That's the one. Right. Oh, God, is he going to call him woodwork in future? He's not a learner anymore. He has. Uh, he has more he's YouTube woodwork. channels. It's woodwork. If he's got loads, make sure you subscribe to us all of each each channel. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. None of your nonsense. Get the subscribers all. On all of those channels. Yeah. I'm going to go about that shape. It's a little, that, uh, well, quite a wide foot, but only shallow, I think. Is that, is, that a little bit of a, is that a little bit of an OG on that? Benjamin's stirring it now, look. Yes. Let's all discuss terrible things that have happened at the dentist. Shut up, right? Anything terrible happened at the dentist. Shut up, I, had a, I remember I had a wisdom tooth out once right at the very back, and he said, you're going to have to have surgery, and it's going to take about 20 stitches, <sighs> uh, and you have to go to hospital, but there's no hospital for 18 months, apparently. So I said to him, okay, do it now, here in the yeah, chair. Yeah, let's get it done. And he said, are you sure? I said, yeah. So they eventually cut me gum with these, you know, the whatever the scalp was and all the rest of it. Two yeah. nurses held me down and he smashed, smashed me tooth in half with a cool chisel and a hammer because I couldn't feel it because he injected me. Broke it all out, 20 stitches in me gums. And I walked out of there with a face like the size of a football, which is new now, of course. And uh, it's done. Two days later, so some, I was back to normal. Some people are being quite productive this evening. Andy Bundero is painting a, a door in his kitchen. Mm, oh, yeah. excellent. I wonder is that is he, has he got, kitchen, or has he got the I want to know has he got the door on the kitchen table and painting it, or is it a door that's actually in the kitchen hanging up he's painting? That's what I want to know. And right or is it just a little tiny kitchen door? You know, like it when it's five hundred by seven hundred mill doors. Yeah, it could be. I don't know. We need a bit more information there, Lucy. And Roy the boy says he's made his thread chaser holding tool. Very good. good man. Well done. That's Roy it, Roy. Right. You no, could have made me one while you was doing it. You could have. Anytime you want a lesson, Roy, you know, like, give me a call and we'll set it up. And <laughs> it out. <laughs> well, Andy, Bully, Andy, Andy Bundy Roy has just said, good evening, ladies, gentlemen, and Terry. <laughs> what, he, what he meant to say was good evening. Good evening, ladies, gentlemen, and the invincible. That's what he meant to say. Terry. He just didn't have the guts to say it. Now, Lucy's saying she's got a great NHS dentist. She's amazing. But then, oh, no, it's Andy. He said his brother got overdosed at the dentist. Oh, that's not bad, then. Well, that's got to be that's got to be the learner, right? Well, he's not a learner anymore, uh, but... You know, uh, uh, Andy, be, says, uh, uh, says, Andy has just said, Brian, do you know that Terry has a drill that dentists can use? Yeah, yeah I have I one. Do something. Hi, Trevor P. I'll be turning <laughs> Problem is I can't see in there. Chris from Bailey where works. Hello. You can use Trevor a mirror, Brian. Hobby right. in. Just Trevor said, uh, P, the hobby turner, you. says, Hi, all. Brian's foot seems to have presented and responded to what WhatsApp messages. What? 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 Mm, what's this? What's up? What's up messages? Andy, He's obviously, yeah, messages. obviously been messaging you, Brian, not to get any notice. Yeah, yeah. Well, obviously not. And, uh, you don't emails? take the hint, then, Trevor. When did, when did you email me? Let, me? let me have a quick look at that there. I love Bailey a quick look at what's up. I don't that do well, what's up, you see, yeah. much. Oh, Trevor, there you go. Yesterday you sent me a message at 12.22, Trevor. Oh. I, I, maybe I should turn right. on the notifications for that, shouldn't I? Really? Oh. Yeah, Hi, Terry, says... we're so much, I forgot to put sandpaper on my, on my sanding discs. Oh, for mm. goodness sake. Oh, Pete, right. taking delivery oh. of some newly felled spalded beach, says IJ. What's the best process? Looking after it mm, and storing, and storing it. it. Yeah. If it's spalted, it's already pretty dry, probably. We're ready to dry quickly because once it starts mm -hmm. spalting, that's um, a posh word for rot. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> try not to let it rot anymore. 
Check, check the moisture the content. If it's, if it's too high currently, seal the ends and store it in a, a cool, dry place. Well ventilated, though. Yeah. If it's uh, well fairly wet, ventilated. then rough turning is a good thing. Yeah, it's mm. a good option, yep. Absolutely. If Lucy's trying to play snakes and ladders with two little cheats, apparently. <laughs> When you get a lot of timber come you... together, the hardest thing is decide what shape to cut it so yeah. you can make whatever you want to make when you want to make it. That's correct. Yeah. If Andy keeps cheating, I'm not going to go, go for a rough turning into bowls, then I will tend to go for squares. Because mm. then you can either make a bowl blank or spindle blanks at a later date. Poor Finley yeah. took his uh, dentist literally, punched him in the face. He said, raise your hand if you feel anything. So I did. And smacked him in the face. Smacked him. <laughs> Don't yeah. pull. And so, um, Trevor, I've just read your message. And yes, I'm about all, the, all for the rest of this week. I just messed that up. Oh. oh Oops. Nice. It happens. But you may not be turning this week, Brian. Be depending on your foot. Yeah, it's yeah. They might sell them anyway. I mean, it's just it's just kind of swollen up a little bit. The, the tendon sheath obviously has swollen up a little bit, and it's just a bit painful. And I had to take um, today, so my brain's a little bit fuzzy. I thought if you I should employ <laughs> somebody. Fuzzy, yeah. so. I was waiting for that, Joe. <laughs> yeah, probably a bit fuzzier than normal. Yeah. <laughs> MG's in. Good evening, MG. E M G I Woodworks. Leo. Hello, Leo. Yeah, MG. Good evening. Good evening, Leo. Question, Pete. Do you mind if Brian puts my premier link in the chat? Doug Miller. Do you, if you send me the link, Doug, I'll put it in for you, buddy. We like to we like to share out everybody's um lives and um premiers Hello. Et just send it to me and I will uh, put it in. Without Doug. any hesitation. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, Doug, yeah. Yeah. Go and have a look at the, the write up he's got for that. Explain what go it's on. all about. Go and have a look. I will do it now. I know most people don't bother to read the YouTube comment very often, but go and read Doug's. It's worth it. Okay. I will do that right now. I'll, I'll get it off your uh, YouTube channel. Then. Go to channel. So Kev is saying, oh. uh, Paul, when I was 14, after six injections, blooming heck, my NHS dentist said I couldn't, couldn't feel anything. I punched him straight in the mouth when he hit a nerve and I got banned from oh, seeing yes. him again. Yeah, wow. Shows him right. Copy link. All these dentists say, ah, it's all done, don't worry about it. They're on the wrong side of the pain nerves. They just think you can't feel it. Yeah. It's like Funny though, I don't really, I don't really worry when I have a dent when I go to the dentist. Sometimes I've had teeth taken out without injections. Get on with it. Leo, it's cherry. It's cherry. Oh, cherry, cherry baby. So there's Doug's link in that. <coughs> Pop over and have a look at Doug's link. Premier's in two hours' time. Fine business. Why Why have I got sound in my ear? Why is it? Oh, I did, forgot to mute the tab. Oh, that's what it is. Hmm. Nice bit of cherry there, Pete. Love bit. Lovely looking bit. Huh? Yeah, I'm going back down the grits because I missed a bit. Right. Yeah, I didn't. It's the only way to fix it too is to go back down at least two grits probably. Thing is, Roy, when you're married to a nurse and she got to practice her... Uh, needles before she goes out to see the patients it doesn't matter mate you become a pin cushion 
Yeah, I think I've become immune to it. Oh my needles. God, that's a hole. I've just I've just looked at Doug's um, 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 description of his video. It's, it's an essay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'll, I'm not going to read all that out, guys. So if you want to, if you want to have a look at yeah, that, we'll and read it. it's an interesting read thing right now. Go read it yourself because it take me all right to read that. Woodwork says, Terry, do you have teeth done while you wait, or do you leave them and pick them up later? Well, oh. weird work, I'll just let you know. Uh, all the teeth in my mouth are my own. Not one false one. <laughs> nearly all there. Well Unlike yours. Yeah, that's fine, Trevor. I'll be about tomorrow. I don't think I'll be going very far tomorrow. I'm not even going to the horses in the morning. So I will be about house and maybe in the workshop sitting down doing something. I don't know. What make Cassandra is that, Pete? The handle seems really chunky. It's um, it's a Simon Hope. Simon Hope original. But before he um, sold him on the market, bit, this this was a Down prototype. A right. That's it. Right. Oh, so this is a prototype one which um, I bought from John Davis Wood Turn him uh, many years ago, and it was a brand new idea at the time. I have a, I have a chunky one as well. It, it does make two sizes. Does he? Yep. Yeah, they do the chunky ones. They, they reintroduced it, but with a black handle. Yep. Oh, That's all it is—a different color handle. It's it's oh, handy if you've got like arthritis or something. It's quite mm. makes it easier to hold. I think a big hand is part of health. Fit. Ray wants to know what's wrong with fit, Brian. Uh, so Achilles, uh, Achilles tendon tendonitis is what's wrong with my foot. And you won't rest it, Roy. You rest it for a day, feels rest. better, goes out, wrecks rest. it. And then, rest yeah. it for two days, goes out, yeah. wrecks it. You won't rest it for a week, like he's supposed to, or a month. This is the third time oh. he's killed his foot. Wow. Yeah. He should well, stay uh, off it for I, six I think, weeks. You won't be told. He's like, the um, thing is, here, here, hold on a minute. You guys are starting to sound like Michelle. He's getting well, older. It's well, about time he stopped wearing the stilettos on a weekend, is what I think. Yeah, I know what it is. That's, that's the Friday night kills it. He's all on your back, yeah. that does, Brian. Trouble is, he thinks right. he's 30 still. Yeah. I'm only 26. Yeah, right. And I must be going back to school tomorrow, then. Yep. <coughs> <sighs> I think you should leave me alone. I think he's really just bullying me this evening. I'm happy now. Andy says, Terry, you can lend Brian your scooter. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I can see me going around. Ground. I can see me going around the yard up to my knees and mud on the scooter. Yeah. It's a quad I need. <laughs> oh, I'd love to have Well, that's the answer. Buy a quad. Or get you. <laughs> well, we're, actually, we're actually looking for a decent second hand Kawasaki mule or something. Buy a new one. No, I'm not buying Terry, a new one. Terry, in about time you pop down and move that uh, switch for me so I can have all across the workshop to an extractor on. Uh, how many times? Oh, so that's what's right, buddy. How many times, Brian? How many times? What? What have I done now? How many times have you, have you ever done it? You screwed it up every time. Right. You don't listen. Three at least. You've been told to rest. Well, it. it's been ongoing now for about eight weeks. And, uh, it it kind of it feels okay, and then you go and do something, and then it's not okay at all. If you hadn't done anything for six of those eight weeks, Brian, you'd be back to normal now. Perfect. Uh, yeah. Audio. Like Bit of healed properly. I know you did. I know you did. Kev's just said he sold his 250 quad, but I don't want a 250 because it's only two wheel drive. I'll need at least uh, a at Sherman least, tank. Uh, quite, quite fancy the uh, Honda four track 400, I think it is. But that's not what I want now. I want the Kawasaki mule because it has a cab, it has a cab and stuff, so you can. And a tipping body on the back. So we're going to do the lazy way now, go in the rain with the cab away. Yep. Yeah. Well, you, you either got to get it right or you'll keep damaging your foot, won't you? you know, can you go on the road with a Brian if you tax him? Yeah, you can, yeah. Well, I would get away with it because we, could, uh, we can go from the house to the yard. Um, because that's where, my, that's where the farm is, you know. So we can, you can go between your, your fields, if you like. Yeah, my thought if you want to pop down the shop. Well, I could always say I've got a field down in the shop. <laughs> yeah. Down, 
down close to the shop, just drive on. That's no. Can be done. And you can register them. Uh, can be road legal. You can pay tax on them. Yeah, you do, hi. Now, Roy's the boy. He's asking, Pete, will that crack cut out? I think it mostly mm -hmm. has. It's still there a bit. But it's... um. Not too bad. It's soaking up the old sand and sea. Look at that. Yeah, it's pretty dry. Cra cracks are obligatory with jelly. No, they just come. They come with cracks, and no, I turned oh. a fourteen-inch um, off-center bowl out of the other other part of this, and there was not okay, a single so crack in it. Yes, yeah, uh, something like that, Andy. I'm not sure about the the rules entirely. What what the uh, the distance is. Oh, 60s in. Evening, Dora. Hi, Dora. Good evening, Andy. But Matt, I'll check my book. Yeah, Andy. What book? <laughs> my book oh, with yeah. names in it. It's Andy. It's got EMGI in it. EMG. Leo. Leo. Uh, Leo. Uh, let me just check that. Just in case. <laughs> MG. No, I am neglected to put MG in, so I'll do that oh. now. What's the good oh, of that? Paul is in. Hey, Paul. Paul, Cav Paul Cavan is, is poor. Bro. It's not, is it? Paul Cavan? <laughs> yeah. It's Paul Cavan, then. Hey, Paul. Yeah. Welcome along, Paul, will he? <laughs> I think it's, it should be obligatory that your your first name is in your, your channel. Yeah, yours in? Yes, it is. Yours did isn't. Brian, did Mine's you put Brian Hartwood Dummy in the No, it's not. It's Brian Hartwood Dummy. Get your facts right, buddy. Before I have to come over there. And... You couldn't come over here, mate. You uh, can't bloody true. walk. Sorry, do a little dance with some milk, because I, I think I'm going to do that a couple of seconds to dry, and I'll put another coat on, because it's drinking. Sing, Joe, sing. Sing, Joe. No, no, no don't. Dance, then you don't have to do it. Dance, dance Terry. Then you don't have to do it then when he actually puts... What's the name on? Well, you're not going to benefit. You'll let, no, I'll sing twice. What you're giving well, I'm just, yeah, okay. I'm just, okay, I'm just saying sing in case Terry Bartlett falls asleep because he loves you're not singing. Falling asleep. Asleep. He'd be swooning. Uh, Pete, you need a brush for your sanding sealer. Uh, a la Jason Breach. It's life-changing, like the microwave. <laughs> Apparently. Yeah, I, I use a brush sometimes, but um, I think you waste a whole lot using it on the cloth because it stays on the cloth. Well, yeah. Well, oh, yeah. Same with a brush; it evaporates quicker on a brush. Also, if you use it neat when you got a repour, it's better where it doesn't soak in as far as quick. I've got to be honest; it does depend on the piece of wood you got on the lathe, and I can't be asked to have a different uh, system for every piece of wood I turn. Great idea. Oh, I'm the same. Oh, yeah. Great idea. So Great. you just use whatever you use. Quite right. Give it six months, and I should be using a brush, and I won't have, won't have any cloth. That's true. <laughs> yeah, run it, run it, catch it, roll. Have to use a brush. Okay, any better. Yeah, see, I wouldn't put a brush in the boiled linseed oil because you're you're allowing air into the linseed oil, and it will go off. See, I've done experiments with. Um, Various oils trying to get the same result as the one Mark put up the other day with the combustion. Mm -hmm. And I could not get paper towel to burn. Cotton cloth burnt, paper yeah. towel I couldn't get to burn. Yeah. And I, I won't say that paper towel won't burn. I just but couldn't it's difficult. get it to burn. So I'm wondering if it's something in the cotton that combines with the oil. Probably. Um, which might be the problem. <laughs> if you lay them out, they, you know, or put them over a line or something, they won't burn. But if you crunch them up, and stick them in somewhere, they will. So obviously, it builds up its own heat in curled up paper, uh, curled yep. up cloth. Okay. So there's no way for the heat to escape. So it then order and Doesn't it need spontaneously air? combusts. So Well, hay, hay bales can spontaneously combust as well. Yeah, they do. Oh, yeah. That's decomposition causing that. Yeah, that's well, it's the, it's the uh, 
microbes that started to yeah. rot that caused the heat. Well, that no. actually happens if you bail it wet. Yep. As the farmer in the farm next door to us when I was a kid, um, he cut the entire field of grass, bailed it the same day, put it in his brand new oh. um, solid timber barn with his brand new tractor next to it. Ouch. Um, and then had a big insurance claim. <laughs> oh. Um, the police did investigate, but they couldn't actually prove anything. When I uh, had I had my allotments before in a different life, of course, I made this huge, great compost bin, two of them actually, and put the thermometer right down to the middle. You know, I had one of these proper compost mean, thermometers, stuck it down, oh, yeah. and it went up to ninety-seven degrees centigrade. Wow. wow. In it less than eight days. Yeah, it gets really hot. And when it that's got to that, I had to empty it all out, turn it all around, you know, and put it back in again. And mm -hmm. within six weeks of doing that three or four times, it was just perfectly friable, you know, if like you beautiful get, compost. Get the horse manure in a straw. There's about a ton of it. And you get uh, some nice ba big bacon potatoes and some tin foil. Stick them out. Wrap them up and bury them in a compost heap. Um, within about three hours, you've got beautiful baked potatoes. Mm. Might smell a bit. Might compost, my compost, my compost heap steams. Sing Joe, sing Joe. No, it's not. Uh, it's not the singing one. Change the name. Change the name. I'm out. No, I'm out no, of the no, singing no, no. one. He's out of the singing one. Oh, it's not the singing one. Oh dear. Thanks, Pete. Whew. You watch it, Stephen. <laughs> yeah. You're in trouble, Stephen. Ouch. This is a nice looking piece of wood, I have to say. Mm. It's very dark, isn't it? I didn't. I... Yeah, dark it's very nice looking with the Yorkshire Grit and the Sandy Seal and the Yorkshire Grit on it. Oh, it, it may lighten up a bit more. Mm, I don't know. It kind of went this orange colour as soon as the um, sun and sealer touched it. So it might lighten up a little bit, but not a lot. This is more the colour you'd expect from cherry. That that pink is yes. fresh cut. Yep. It does darken with age. Is that the Donald George you got on there? No. No, yeah, I got the Donald Jaws. I'm actually on a 35 yeah. mil portion a bit mortis. Oh, sorry, I just okay. fell asleep there. Which, um, it's probably pushing my luck a bit, but Brian Elton Hero Donald Deer is in. I know. Uh, he, he, yeah, it was a split second difference yeah. there. Oh, yeah. Gee. Too slow, Joe. Hello, Brian. Welcome aboard, mate. It's Brian with a Y. Oh, Spain. Yeah, I think Joe still says it better. I think she does. I tell you, just kids on. He's saying it. Really. She just gets all excited. Out. More yeah, practical. More practical. And warm in Spain, Got Brian. Passion. Did you say more? 61, there's actually 61 people watching. Yay. Yeah. Wow. Welcome, everybody. Welcome along, everybody. Currently, if you just uh, joined us, oh, he's turning a bowl made of cherry. Sudden thought now. Just a sudden thought. Roy the boy's in the chat, isn't he? He is. He is. Let me have a quick look at Roy the Boy's channel. Go to the channel. We are, he was nine away, wasn't he? Something. I'm just going to check now. He's probably got more. Roy yeah, the Boy uh, has got 7,990 something subscribers. So I don't know just exactly how many he's got, but he's not far away from 8,000, guys. If you're not subscribed to Roy the Boy, get in, slip her eye, subscribe. Get in there and subscribe. Well, mate. Yeah. Check a link Make in somebody there, happy. Make Please, somebody happy now, today. Hey, stuff. So if you're not subscribed to Roy the Boy, nip over, subscribe to his channel, show him a bit of love, and uh, let's try and get him over 8,000 subscribers. He needs four. He's got 7,996. Four more. He he needs said, four more. Oh, four more. Come on, there must be I four of you that are not subscribed. To him. Get over there and subscribe. Oh, let's do I have to? Let's get past the 8,000 today. Yes, you do. Get on with it. 
There's another link for one of you to look up and put in. What's that? I actually Ask signed up for the Hampshire Sheen um, Academy, oh, whatever yeah. it's called, today. Deep as that. I did say to Mark when um, Mark <laughs> Martin, Martin when he started it that I couldn't spend time on it at the time, so I couldn't help with the testing. Mm -hmm. but I signed up today and I've done the first couple of bits. Yeah, I have as well. And as you would expect from Martin, it's um, extremely pro professionally put together. Oh, it's brilliant. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's a fabulous um, result. Highly recommended. So uh, I think Steve um, has that. I, to hide them with I do. I'm not going to put it in. Good man. It's my open with a test in it. Good man. That's it. Roy Small Engine Repairs. That's it. Leo, that's it. That's exactly right. Mark is turning in it as well, though. Yeah, I did some uh, testing of it, and Martin said one night, he said, uh, anybody got anything of it? I said, yeah. I said, your terms and conditions. He said, what? Don't tell me you read the terms and conditions. I said, you asked for testing. So I've read all the terms and conditions. And here's the corrections you should make. <laughs> so I went through the list and he made them all. <laughs> so of course I read the terms and conditions. I'm not going to blink and go out. No way. I never read terms and conditions. Don't Every term and condition you've got to read, mate. Yeah, I don't talk. Oh, somebody's going to lose you. You're going to lose your bank account one day. Evening, Mark. Mark Harvey, how are you? Mark Harvey's in. Good evening, Mark. Evening, Mark. Evening, Mark. Because you'll sign up and click, and it'll say we can now take hundred pound a month out of your yeah, bank I account. Think, I think not. For the minimum of twenty months, you know, you've had it. Because you didn't follow the terms. I'll not empty my bank account. I know it will. Thirty months might hundred pound a week. No, we've yeah. already discovered today that Terry's the richest one. Yes. <laughs> Used to be. Not anymore. Well, you are, because you've got that fortune in um, mm -hmm. flexible pipe, haven't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, well, actually, I'll measure it's not. It's it's four metres. It's not five metres oh. of pipe. Because uh, I brought five metres of pipe with yeah, me. Yeah, you've used a metre. And I used a metre to go on to the uh, the pipe behind the lathe. You know, the, the oh, I'm, dis pipe, the I'm disappointed now. So I've only got four metres left curled up in a ball. Well, that'll do. I, I'll, I'll have that off you. It's only four metres will get 38 from... 38 pound a metre. From much, sorry. Think I'm worried about that, Terrence? No. Right, I'm going to leave that one at that. I'll probably put some more... If I remember, on Brian. When it's run the other way, but... Um, I have you remember. Stick it. <laughs> Paul Gavin says, stick in the I'm car. Tell. Remind me to stick it in the car. Andy. See, 58 quid this one costs. Yeah. So you're doing that just for them. There we go. Roy's exceeded 8,000. Well done, Roy. Well done, Roy. So he wants 997 now to get 9,000. <laughs> to get 9,000, yeah. <laughs> Yes, Ben, I figured it out. They've manufactured one of the one of the uh, beams wrong. It's an inch and a half too short, so they cut the mortises. An inch and a half too short, so it doesn't stretch across the whole thing. In the wrong place. They're making me another one. And I can finish the project because it's up to roof. No, God knows trying to get a leg, but they're making you one. Well, they, they're, they're terms and conditions, actually. <clears throat> Their mm -hmm. contract says no longer than 10 days. All right. Well, that's, uh, we must be getting close and it's to 10 right days now. coming up this Friday. So yeah, Thursday, I should be writing them an e email saying about, hey, they got to give me 10% back. A snot mail you mean? So they'll think, ooh, we best get this out quick. Yeah, but yeah. they told me last week should, that they're having it. Two hours, Terry. It should be with you in a week. Mm -hmm. So as I get that, it'll finish the build. My art studio will be finished. Dun, dun, dun. And start painting again after like four years break. Because of yeah, I know. I'm waiting, on two, I'm waiting on two pictures. You are. But that's okay. No, won't take. They shouldn't take too long. I tend, I tend to uh, support a local artist here as well. I've got lots of little paintings from. Yeah, uh, I like to support local artists. artists. I've got several in my house. Yep. From where I used to live local, and I should yeah. get some from here. And yep. They all want to go home, Terry. You've got to let them out at some point. 
<laughs> Cost a fortune of food. Yeah. Sorry, I'm going to change the name of my channel, by the way. Oh, here we go. You've been saying this for what? months. You should do it. Yeah, I'm going to. It's not going to be TJ Turning anymore. It's going to be Hackington Arts. Reflecting Hackington Arts. Reflecting both art studio and um, reflecting uh, been returning. Painting well. and, it's going to be painting and returning. Is that what you're trying to say? Yes, it is. Hello, Andrew. Oh, just, say, Hello, Andrew. just say it, Terry, instead of trying to be posh about the damn thing. This was going to be Hackington Arts. Good evening, Andrew. Good evening, Douglas. Douglas Mungham's in, Mungham's yes. In. Good evening. Douglas. Oh, look, I need to put my light on. It's getting dark here. Yeah. Well, Brian's asking me why is it TJ. Brian, my name is Terry. John. My middle name's John. So it's TJ. TJ Turney. Could be TB Turney, but somebody else had that. In the States, I think. I don't know, Mark. I might do live painting. I can do. I can do it damn sight quicker than I can do it uh, returning. So I might, but probably not. I'll see. Paul Kavner says. Paul Kavner says his business is occasional woodcraft. Woodcraft gifts for all occasions, or because I occasionally do woodcraft. You decide. <laughs> <laughs> well, Paul, they've got me down now as a, occasionally turning with Terry. That could mm -hmm. be better, actually, better, better name. That would be much, much better. Temporary turning. Occasionally with turning or painting with Temporary Terry. Temporary turn is it? Yeah. Okay, Mark. Well, I've got to. I've got to. Uh, well, if you want to do more, you more uh, frequent YouTube content, you could always do holidays with Terry. Yeah, you could do that. Actually, I'll, I'll think, I was also thinking of that, taking you know, doing the old video camera a bit and going and taking on my holidays because it's going to be five or eight holidays a year. Yeah. I won't tell you. I've got lined up this next this, this year and next. You could I'll be the new Judith Chalmers. <laughs> she she, she does all that. She Judith does all the Chalmers. holidays. We don't need to hear about your holidays again. I'm way to Cyprus next week. Oh, we got. We know. Oh, no. You've told us a thousand times already. It's only a few, couple of, three weeks time. I think. Like give, give, give us a bit of peace. There. Excellent. I've never been to Cyprus. Enjoy it. Tell us about it when you get back. I've, I've been to Cyprus eight times in one year once. Sure, it's that nice. Oh God. Oh, really? You know, that's why. Oh, yeah, that's why I'm broke. About it. That's and we went point. ten times to Grand Canary because I had a mate over there, so. My old mate should be called oh, Grand sorry. Canaries. And, sorry, did I just wake up then? Sorry. Before and it turns out we booked to go to Cyprus, and my other mate who didn't go to Cyprus with us said, Should we go to Grand Canary for a week? I said, Yeah, if you like. So I said, You book it. So we booked it. Turns out we came back from Cyprus, got off the plane in Bristol. Yeah, good picture. Walked from departures to arri from arrivals to departures and got on the next, the same plane out going back to Grand Canary. Mate, he said, You just got off. Right. Eckington yeah, Art Studios. What am I doing with this ring? Right. Um, width across now, what? The, 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 the eight inches diameter? I can tell you what it is now. Do you know what I'd like to see? Steve Fleming, then. Good evening, six. Steve. Hi, Steve. Ten Thank inches in diameter, you. actually. I was wrong on the eight inches. Ten, okay. Um, uh, what, no, what I think is you could actually come in about an inch, undercut the rim, and take it back out. Thin, not thin, but quarter inch thick. Yeah, it's kind just of bring, it's, my go to. That's that. lovely for cherry. Yeah, it's pretty, isn't it? It's it is cool. pretty. Nice rim on it. Yeah, nice rim. Keep the rim. But, but rim undercut it slightly the and then back. Do I come, yeah. Do I take in, the rim down the, at an angle and then undercut? And then, then round it in, yeah. That would look really nice. Right, this is a beautiful that. bit of wood. You don't want to too thin the rim, do you? No. You want, you want to see the rim when you've got fruit in it. Because of the nice colour, colour of the of the. Through, I'm gonna put paper clips in it. Okay. A lot of them. Good. So I think we'll just do a small, them. just do a small centre then. That'd be fine. What, what does Roy the boy put now? What does Roy the boy put? Let me see what I put. Let me see what I put. Okay, nice. That's cut in that. That's brilliant. Roy yeah, the boy says, "Pete could nice. change his channel. Pete could change. You could change your channel name to Pete standing in for Brian." I'm Terry. <laughs> Pete, 
Custard Trees Substitute Turner. Substitute Turner. <laughs> Roy, that's not a very good idea. Pete's got a perfectly good channel name. Pete of the Twisted Trees. Yeah, um, Twisted Trees is what I started out with as um, when I started turning. Mm. And then somebody else bought twistedtrees.com before I could. Oh, it's a rat bite. Oh, it's a pain, isn't it? Dirty, dirty trick that. Oh, oh, I've just dropped my pen. Oh, pick it up again. So something like that. It's a bit of a slope, the uh, curve on the That's end. It. Yeah, Ooh, lovely. Yeah. Then cut it back in under slightly. Lovely. Yeah, I'll come back in under it, yeah. I'd put a little cove in that, in that uh, rim too. Yes. Yeah, it's lovely. I've not yet. That's the start of the curve. I haven't finished that yet, but um, yeah, okay. probably won't be a cove. I like a cove in the rim. Just a small dish cove in the rim. I love that. Well, just thumb, just to set my foot in the end of the ball. Lucy's playing catch up in the chat. Oh, well. What you should do, Lucy, is get the kids in bed, get rid of them. Well, that's, she's been playing snakes and ladders, you see, so. Yeah, well, if you cheat, they'll yeah. get mad and run off. That'd be good. Well, they've, apparently they've been cheating. The two monsters have been cheating. You always got to make sure you're a better cheat than they are. Don't give them any quarter. Absolutely not. Don't let your children win in games. <laughs> I can't believe that. Ever. Is Pete using the left wing on that gut? Says Mark Darby. I yeah. am, yes. Surely is. And if you see, he's anchoring it down onto the tool rest and pivoting it. Well, I'm just removing scrap wood at the moment, so... That keeps him, keeps him in control of it, you see. Cut. I think your tool rest just dropped down, Pete. I think it did. So oh, might be, oh. be careful. At the end of the day, when you're hacking out the scrap, if you use the left wing for that, then you've still got a sharp right wing for when you actually do the cut. Yeah. I think your tool rest <laughs> just you. dropped, Pete. It did. Yeah, all right. Just as long as you know it's not loose, that's what I wanted to do. Right, Andy, you can cheat when you make the rules because you can change the rules to suit you. Parents' progressive. Yeah. yeah. If they argue too much. Ban them from playing again. 100% correct. Or ban them from playing on the Xbox that you've promised them when they reach 10 or 12. See, if you let children win all the time, they think life is easy. You've got to break them while they're young and get to realise that yeah. life is not easy. <laughs> right, the boy wants to know what the name is on the garage. Glenn Lucas. Glenn Lucas. It's so a Glenn Lucas, uh, it's a Hamlet garage, in fact. But, um, I like Hamlet actually. I don't good. Camera I'm on. That's it. There you are. The Glenn Lucas signature Glenn Lucas. Boat signature Gary series. Martin uh, Ford. Just good evening, Martin. Good evening, Martin. Hey, Martin. Martin. What? Hi, Martin. And this is just a. Uh, Somebody is Darth Vadering with a microphone. Sleep, Sorry, Joe. Probably Joe, she's sleeping, she? Not me. So it's not, not me. You're Steve. Oh. Not me. Breathing into the microphone too loud, Pete. How's that? Better. That's it. Next. Repeal. Andy says, hey, that's it for today. Kitchen, emulsion, and doors. 
Uh, undercoated top coat tomorrow morning, and then dentist the hot oh, destroyed teeth. At the hospital at two o'clock. He's gonna have four teeth oh, out. Thanks think for having a bottle of gin, Andy. Roger Kent's in. Roger. Roger. Hi, Roger. Or brandy yeah, would I'd be go nice, for Andy. Stronger. Nice I'd brandy would be nice. Teeth, four teeth out tomorrow, did you say? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, so can you come in on Friday and tell Brian all about it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Shut up. Pictures, well, actually, yeah. pictures as well. Can you gobble so about it? Good evening. Yeah. The wood dude is in. Stephen. Ah, uh, Stephen. It's not Stephen. It's not Terry that's bunking off this time. Uh, Stephen, it's me. Brian's got a bad foot, Stephen. He never, never took any notice of anybody, and he went straight out and worked, his, worked hard today. So now he's suffering the consequences. Can't walk. In a minute, we'll be just saying, "Yeah, here he goes again," because he probably didn't want to work tonight. So, you know, lazy tool rag. My sheep just about falling asleep here. It does not do with peach stunning, it's just uh, maybe the effect of the cocoa the malt. Yeah, they, 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 if they're the strong, if they're 30, 500s, then they will knock you off. Yeah. I, got to say, I may be up. covering for Brian, but it was Terry that came on at about five and said, Pete, you got to do one tonight. Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah. did, did you? Well, Brian yeah. said to me, I'm not very well. He said, I've hurt my foot again and I can't do a live tonight. So, and I'm taking cocoa so I'm a bit fuzzy. <laughs> Um, so I won't be doing live. So I said, okay, no problem. I'll do a pop up. I said, no, I won't. I was like, I'm going to text Pete. <laughs> so I said, Pete, you're doing a live tonight. <laughs> I said, well, you've got a choice. You can either do tonight, or Friday. short notice, so you won't be so stressed, or you could do Friday because I'm doing one for Steve. Your choice. He said, I'll do tonight. <laughs> so he's here. So he's on. Love it. Oh. And the plan works. Good old Pete standing. Yeah. Well, the answer is we got a lot of. I wouldn't say fans. We got audience out there. That like a lot of regular viewers. Regular you look, you look like to see like to see we're turning in the chat. Yeah, and we don't like like your name. No disrespect to any of them, but some of them, some of them could be on their own or whatever, and would like to be able to chat to others. <laughs> um, and we give them the opportunity. What are so, you wish on about Terry? He's with them. Now just, they're here, and they come in to see us every week. Just just because Brian don't give a damn, at least oh, some of us care. The crap. <laughs> <laughs> hey, some of us care. Um, Brian, the, this is the same Brian that does two lives a week, Terry. Yeah. No, this is the same Brian that bottles out for at least four of them every month because he's got a bad foot because oh, he can't rest up, it. Are you sure you two are married? Are you bicker? <laughs> Now, Lucy says it shows what a wonderful community it is when you all just stand and for each other at the drop of a hat. Now, look at that. Bob Gardner says, you, you're, you're all that's keeping me sane as I write a report for a hospital to list people with <laughs> septic something or other. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, we've got ben, sharpness. Well, you have okay, an interesting job, Bob Gardner. Now, Ben Jammin's asking, did you get a tarmac, Pete? No, not yet. Okay. What's this? What's uh, this? Uh, Kev, question was, Terry, was the guy who took over over your Mondays on today? Well, uh, first of all, Kev, it's not my yes. Mondays. It's anybody's Mondays. And yes, he was on. It's Paul, Paul Findlay. Yeah. He's in the chat. Paul Findlay, we're turning at yeah, home. Paul Findlay, we're turning at home, yep. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, he is doing Mondays. Any... He was on today. And I, could, I, I couldn't name the chat. I think it was channel that way. Yeah. Brian couldn't go in the ear room because he had bad what? foot. No, I didn't. I, was up, I had the horse dentist here today. And that's why I couldn't do it. I was up at the yard all again. afternoon. Oh. Wood turning with Barry has joined us. Good evening, Barry. It's a long time since Barry. Oh, put a, a lick. Good evening, Good Barry. And Todd says, "Did the Muppet Show theme just start playing?" <laughs> yeah, it's time to make them up. 
It's time to do it. Fine. Richard. RJK. Spinning word is in. Good evening, Richard. Richard. Never listen to a word Terry says, Richard. He's raving. He's, in fact, it's almost like the ravens of Christmas here at the moment. He hasn't shut up. I don't know. You hear him as well, Doug? Well done, mate. I didn't get a chance to see it because I was out shopping. Well done, Doug. Monday lunchtime is not good. That's why I moved because that is, you know, so I had to go. It's because Ruth takes some shopping on a Monday. Yeah, um, you know, it's always a rush to finish it and then go shopping. So I've changed it now, so I can go shopping anytime I like on a Monday. Paul Kavanagh says, Joe, sing my lovely horse running through the fields. Who said that? Paul Kavanagh. Where? Just before Doug said that, Pete and himself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anybody else forget to change your clocks today? In the UK no. or your your time because Roy did. That's why he was an hour late for. Uh, so your phone didn't change automatically, Roy. Yeah, I yeah his workshop uh, clock never Apple changes. Really. My workshop uh, clock never changes either. So. Don't Android change themselves, then, don't they? Easy answer to that, Todd. She loves me. <laughs> I suppose oh, someone asked her. Yep. You, but you guys call it lunchtime. I call it be a letter bed at 8 a.m. Yeah, you mean you're still in your bed at 8 a.m. in the morning, Mr. Oh, get yourself bed. out of your bed. That's a ridiculous time in the morning to get up. Sometimes what I don't get up till 10 o'clock. Says me who got up at 8.15 today. Oh, no, <laughs> 8.30. <laughs> I sometimes get up at 10, 11. I sometimes get up when I feel like it because I don't have to work yeah, anymore. Exactly. Exactly. I spent a lot of years getting up at silly o'clock. I used to work blinking night shift and spend a lot of years coming home at four in the morning. Ugh. Not now. No. Not sure. 8 a.m. is time for the first nap. You're absolutely <laughs> right. That's the first Sweet news Chris. button. You're quite right, Douglas. Or Chris, sorry. What's wrong, Pete? I'm sure about the <laughs> shape. Change it. Uh, yeah, sure. Change a, it. a little bit more rounded get into your undercut, I think. You put whatever shape you want on it, mate. And he's put, that's called old age, having to get up early. I'm up at half five every morning, Andy. Indeed you are. And that's not old age. Nope. Is that, absolutely is that not because your age. alarm gets you up or because you'll wake nope. up naturally? I wake up naturally most mornings between five and half past. Then the yeah. alarm goes off at six. Wow. Yeah. It probably makes such a rare thing. I've got to wake up before the alarm or else it'll wake me up. And it'll make me jump. Well, it is annoying, but it, I'm normally awake before the alarm goes off. I'm normally have the shower and downstairs right. before the alarm goes off. Yeah. I used to be awake before the alarm as well. So years of doing six till two when you have to be up for half four. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't even set an alarm these days. I just wake up. Yeah, that <laughs> pleases me know. better. Ruth had a bit of early this morning. Take the grandchildren to school. Oh no. I think he's got about seven yeah. o'clock, four or seven, something. No, earlier than that, about six. Yeah, Deb says when you're getting getting older, it's the bladder that wakes you up. This is entirely quite, true. I'm not quite there yet. I mean, Kev. No, I, it doesn't really bother me either. I can still go. I can still sleep for seven hours a night without any bother. The answer is don't drink pints or anything or something big before you go to bed. No, exactly. Is that badly wrong then? We're doing wrong here. What's the matter, Pete? You can catch Your tool rest okay? Mm. Tool rest hanging? No, I was looking at the, the shape. Oh, I see what's happening. Looking at the shape, trying to get the shape that I liked. Mm -hmm. And then I just caught. On well, the corner of the wing. One. Oh, they're not. That, that bit there. Mm. Um, 
and it just disrupted me. Mm. Maybe undercut it with a Simon Olowin tool or something. Oh, oh. Yeah, Roger can't say, of course not. Oh. <laughs> Good man, Roger. I must admit, I prefer to be about early in the morning. Yeah. Right, IJ says that uh, we have a one-year-old boxer. He's up at 7 a.m. most morning. Yeah, I have two schnauzers who would wake you up in the morning too. Ben Jamin says he has three alarms and he's still often late. <laughs> but he, he could sleep through Joe singing. That's something. Yeah. That's saying something, he says. Oh, man, that's amazing. No, he can't. We go around and wake him up, especially. Lucy, who splashes cold water on you? Because she said she could sleep through most things apart from having cold water splashed on me. And who would be so oh, mean? I can't believe that. It could be worse. It could be warm. Yeah. Could be so warm. Sorry, water, my daughter yeah. for school when she was little. Started off with a damp cloth. Damp that cloth. didn't work. Glass of water. If that didn't work, we got the bucket out. Yeah, right. Do it quite right. That's the way. After this week, this yes, Drew Freeze. Last week, oh, this yeah. week, isn't it? You won't have to work yeah. after that. Last week at work is right. You'll love it. First thing you'll do the next day is be up at quarter to six, ready for work, thinking, something wrong here. Yep. Yep. Why am I awake now? Indeed. <laughs> Chris has trouble staying awake when he's editing videos. Yeah, I know that feeling. That's why I don't do videos. The worst bit is when you're watching them back. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah, I'll try not. You, you can feel yourself nodding. <laughs> yeah, I don't do any videos. Because it's getting thin. That's that split. You can hear mm, the noise. Right. Be careful with it, then it'll fly apart on you. Well, that's why I'm being a bit cautious with my cuts, which is actually causing me more problems than, than help. So mm. Just get in there and do it. Andy does an impression of a chainsaw when he's asleep, apparently. I mean, there's debates on YouTube, Ben. Evening, Ruby. Ruby clears in. Good evening. Oh, Ruby. Hi, Ruby. Good evening. Hope you're keeping well. Good evening. Good evening. My favourite of it, she's. Or I'm her favourite of it, one of the two. I think you're her favourite hobbit. <laughs> Ruby's not a hobbit. 
Little Tim. TF turnings in. Right Leo. <laughs> Leo says there's not much wood left in the bottom now. Sounds like it. Oh, I just wondered. Still awake. I'm still awake. Just checking. You know you. Just checking. 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 Testing. What's the latest on the chair, Joe? Testing, testing. One, two. Well, I've told the engineer that I'm going to go for a new chair. Right. He hasn't rung me back yet. Oh. Because he, I think he's just, well, I was thinking he might assume that it's a chair from his company, but it isn't. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, not unless he can price match. That's true. Or, or get under it. You want to flog him the old chair back. Uh, Kevin NK says, don't be like me, Pete. I rejoined the funnel club yesterday. So I should awake, Kev. That's the thing. That sounds... Yeah, you loose can hear a well. split there. It's, um... it's only loose. It's really thin. Careful. It's not thin. It's not thin. It's just that split. Oh, it's just a split, yeah. wasn't it? Well, that split goes right through to the outside. But it's causing it to vibrate. How much have you got left at the bottom? Four mil. Yeah. No, it's thin. That's, that's pretty good then. Yeah, it's just, just literally on the side here, that split is just causing it to go all over the place. But, um, we'll get that in a second. You did say it wasn't very good when you dug into it and looked. But still, that's um, good. Let me go with that one. Yeah. Yeah, Kev says they're thin, and then there's just too thin. Yeah. They won't be. Kev. Oh, yeah. says I can see the vibration ripples on the edge. You can't look Yeah. Kev. Nothing. Yes, Douglas. Says Douglas. <laughs> it doesn't really matter if it's too thin because I'm going to burn it anyway. Oh, you're not, are you? Feet. Yeah, you know what Pete's like. Pete just likes a tunnel process. Can't do much else with it, that um, split. So. Yeah. It's. works trying to st stir it again. Look. Oh, Use it's... Terry's 4D grid. Hmm. Yeah, Change your name, Woodwork. You don't need that, Andy. It's not uh, learn uh, anymore. It's woodwork. Uh, uh, any more of that uh, um, woodwork, um, you'll be getting timed out. That's good for putting paper clips in, Pete. No problem. That's yeah. Uh, get loads. Better on the fire. Yeah, you take a I take a big <laughs> See, Ruby says. Pete, it'll still make good flower pot for outside. No, you can't do that. The flowers will burn. When he puts, when he burns <laughs> it, he has some compost. You're not supposed to put the flowers in it and burn it. You're supposed to save it from being burned by putting the flowers in it. Then you've got an excuse to do a kev. Oh, go through the middle. Oh. Go through the bottom. I, I actually made a garden line. Um. I'm going to do it Saturday. Paul Calvin well, I did it Friday and then I did it again Saturday because I filmed it on Friday and messed it up. I forgot to set the cameras up properly. Aww. So I thought, oh, well, I'll do it again. <laughs> so I filmed it again. Yeah. Got the cameras right, but I didn't like the film, so I've been in that as well. Jumped it. Oh, <laughs> Paul Kavanagh says he was at Brian's over the weekend. You should have seen the dust. <laughs> no shaving, just dust. 
Yeah, I was ashamed of oh, some dust. Well, at least you could get in to see it, unlike yours. I was absolutely horrified there was some dust on my pro edge. Dust. I mean. Yep. I don't know Before how you get that resin going. I don't, I don't understand. I, I can't control the pain. You know, you get that little fine layer of dust everywhere. And it's, it's just, it's impossible to control that, I think. That's because you're a wood turner, Brian. That's where you get that, mate. Right? Yeah, I know. You just have to keep dusting it down every day. Yeah. <laughs> Great good question. I know that Terry is, uh, Terry's up for it. Well, how many other people are, partic are participating in the new wood turning week? Well, I heard that you were well, the... Nobody the, apart from me and you, Stephen. I think Stephen was the main proposer of that, I think, wasn't he? Yeah, I don't mind. i got no problem, mate. I've been on the planet too long. I will if you will. <laughs> Paul Calvin says... Uh, Paul Calvin says his workshop is, a, is a, <coughs> a work of art. The sort of thing that Tracy Emin would display. <laughs> For those of you who don't know who Tracy Emin was, she's the one with the messy bed. If you recall, it was in the Tate Modern thing. Yeah, that uh, lipstick unmade bed thing she did, that was entirely stolen from the lyrics of a Prog Horam song. Mm. Yes, I know, Andy. We do. We do. Uh, we're probably all guilty of breathing in some dust from our workshops, but protect yourself mostly. Brent Beecroft just and joined us. And I do break. clean it down often. Hi, Brent. Like Good evening, Brent. You've got to remember when you're walking down the street, you're breathing in dust. Correct. Yeah. Evening, Brent. Ruby says it's too cold over there, Stephen, where mm. she is. She wouldn't participate. I'm not participating. I wouldn't put any. Mine, I reckon your subscriber bounce would go up, wouldn't it? All down. Mm. Or day. Well, I reckon it'd go up. The views would certainly go up. <laughs> Just for a laugh. No. The dude does nude. I mean, the title <laughs> The dude does nude. <laughs> I do, Douglas, have an air filter. I have a um, um, record AC. power AC400. And have a really good extraction system. But you still, uh, I don't care how good your extraction system is, every wor every wood tunnel workshop has fine dust on it. Yeah, mine is, all my stuff gets covered in a fine dust. Yep. Yeah. As soon as I go in, I'll switch on my uh, dust um, AC400 extractor yep. and I'll switch it on for four hours. I'll time it for four hours, so it switches off to the mirror along them in there, just when I'll go out the workshop. Blow everything around so it all, and then you come back in. It's nice and clean, but you still got dust in places you yeah. can clear. Well, the dust that settled isn't a problem. No, it's just the yeah, stuff is flying around. The air bomb stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not a problem until you get the airline not to move out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. You, well, you do that. You just take a deep breath, blow it with the airline, and walk out the door and shut it. <laughs> That's the end of it. I don't put mine on for four hours, but I do put it on for an hour after I finish at the end of the day. That's what I do. That's but, that's uh, my routine as well, Pete. Switch it on, set it for an hour, and blow all the surfaces down, and then get out. I think if you go up into the attic here, it's about six inches deep in dust. Because I've been out there for years. But, um... And Douglas has said, Brian, my shop has wood everywhere, plus chips and dust. I won't find shavings in my workshop, except when I'm actually turning. And when I do a live or something, you can ask the guys here, as soon as I'm finished, the vacuum, yeah. the vacuum cleaner comes out. Yeah, it does. I never leave shavings on my floor in the workshop between jobs, ever. That's Stephen's new channel, uh, The Dude Does Nude. Hello, the Yorkshire dude Kit. Does nude. If I'm doing um, a production job, which I sort of walk out of last minute, walk back into the next morning, carry on, mm. then I tend to leave it. But mm. no, 
always clear up. I finish work at the end of the day. I do clean up. Yeah. That's depressing when you walk into a workshop and they're I, I, I can't yeah, be doing that. Like, it. it just does my head in. I must have a bit of OCD on that or something. I don't know. Cedar gets cleaned up straight away because I can't stand the smell of it. Oh, I love no, cedar. Didn't. I like the leaf cedar there because it smells gorgeous. I like no, cedar didn't. for the first few cuts. Then I start getting a headache. Oh, no, I love it. Do you also get some nice. I did say that just now. Hi, Grin. He's woke up. Me. I just wanted to make sure Pete heard. It's getting warm, Glenn. We were talking about you earlier, Glenn. It was all good. <clears throat> Ish. It's getting warm. It's time to go to that workshop. More like the bike. Well, Where's that well, for? I'm more like the bike is right. So Roy says he did a nude calendar once for other YouTube YouTubers for charity. Uh, and only had a had a hat on and a Briggs and Stratton recoil cover. That's a motorbike cover from the recoil of Kickstart. Covering his crown jewels. Hmm. But, um, yeah. Hmm. Hope you maybe made a lot should, of money, maybe, mate. Maybe we should uh, we should have a a charity calendar. Maybe that's a plan. Well, maybe we should, but not with us in it. No. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to sell it or do you want to give it away? Yeah, you, you want to you want to pay people to take it or do you want to sell it? Yeah, there, there must be some fake young blokes about doing wood done. I mean, surely. What we could do really is or, we could, we could threaten them with it unless they pay something into a charity, and if they pay in, mm. we won't have it done. Yeah, that's you more likely to make money. That's more like it. Pay us not to do it. Kevin NK says the new SPF ten face shield is built. Lungs feel so much better. I never leave off without clearing cleaning up either. Good. Did I see there was a channel, the Nude Wood Turner or something like that? Was it? I don't know. I'm, I'm sure I saw an advert no for one somewhere. Yeah, obviously, it'll turn nude, but I don't know what. I think there is. It. I think that's you know, some young some young girl. Click bait or something. What? Like that. She wears yeah, like yeah. skimpy Naked underwear stuff. all the time. Yeah. That's right. I saw an advert in Facebook somewhere, but never went on to it actually. That's not you, Terry? Yeah, right. no, I don't, not like, I'm not, that's you know, not like you too old for things like that, Pete. Too old for things like that. I'm not Brian, you little know. Little liar, you. Not Brian. Too, too old. <laughs> A lot more. Roy says he lost company. ten thousand subscribers. <laughs> 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 yeah. Sounds about right. Thing is, if you turn it, if you turn it with a bikini on or shorts on, that shorts even is dangerous, isn't it? You know, <laughs> gouges <laughs> cut skin a lot easier with no clothes on. Paul Cabner wants to know: Do you have the link? Then. Question mark. Just so I can disprove, of course. To be honest, though, Terry, have you ever cut through your trousers or your jacket with a, a gouge? Because no. I never have. No, no, me neither. But if you drop it and it hits your leg or something, my last and you've got nothing on, never done that either. Skin quick enough. You ain't, well, worry about your, you ain't got to worry about your, your smock getting caught in your leg, though. That's true. Yeah, that's true. No, no I've true. never cut myself with a turning tool. Um, apart from when I've been sharpening, and I might cut my finger with it when I have to test it because I'm stupid. Douglas Moon says he had a sh he had a sword out for Steve, and it has been left. My left foot will not let me work. Yeah. Have it off then. Oh yes, yeah, we had that. Yeah. No, I wouldn't use a cricket box. I'd manufacture one. I'd turn one. Ben Jalman says, what's the name of that Lady ladies' Cole. channel? Just so as I know to, how, to avoid it. <laughs> to avoid it, yeah. To avoid it, yeah. Yeah, right, Jalman, yeah, right. We're not believing that. <laughs> Kevin A. Kid, well, she does. Well, we're turning in the bikini. It's a bit boring after four weeks of watching, though. <laughs> <laughs> four weeks of watching 28 videos. Yeah. That's just clickbait. People just try that to get get subs. Wish you luck, Douglas. 
Good luck, Dan. Yeah, good luck with that, Douglas. What's this? Well, we're hiding that. If you get some subs and they make money out of YouTube, good luck to them. Yeah. Like I say, if you got it, flaunt it. Yeah. Oh, I'm not going to wear a bikini for anybody. I'll not. <laughs> I'll not be flaunting it then. That's for sure. Terry, if you start wearing a bikini, mate, I'm unsubscribing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Cameron says, oh, she's looking after her lungs. <laughs> <laughs> Never noticed she had lungs, Paul. <laughs> tusk, tusk. This, uh, this is child deteriorating. That looks nice. Who says, yeah, we've got our children. Come on. Oh, how are we doing the time, by the way? Well, yeah, nine minutes to nine. Plenty of time. Nine minutes to nine? Oh, my clock's five minutes slow. I better, I better fix that. Why? You don't have to get up for anything. Limpy. No, but I like, it to be at, I like it to be at the right time, Terry. You know? The occasional time that I do look at a clock, I like it to be in the right time. Well, Ben Jammy's got a question. He says, okay, here's the question. Who gets annoyed by wood turning videos showing the blank or log or whatever has been th as the thumbnail? Um, no, I, I never get annoyed about yeah. that. No, thumbnail's a thumbnail if you want to put up. Hmm. Sometimes I, I think to myself, people put the thumbnail up of the finished article. And then they go and turn it. So I've obviously done one before. So it's not like a one-off. Well, I mean, you can do that with a video. But, you know, tonight I had to put the blank up because in the half an hour of morning I got, I was doing a live. <clears throat> I didn't have a finished item to put up because I hadn't mm. turned it yet. The, the the thing that annoys me about thumb, some thumbnails is on some, uh, I, I think I get uh, where Ben's come from here, you get some people who put up the ugliest piece of wood in the world and then when they actually go to turn it, They've, they've trimmed all the ugly bits off it and it's just a normal blank. Oh, so yeah. They're just using it as kind of clickbait. Yeah, but that's what YouTube's all yeah. about. Clickbait. That's what it's all about. Oh, that's true, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. The idea of YouTube, the only reason you use a thumbnail is to get people to watch your video. That's true. That's what a thumbnail's for. So the Damien Ward, Ward the Wilson, more, I don't know if he's been more, in before, more, but he says um, he has. He says he's got an order for 24 seam rippers from a quilting shop. Oh, they cool. wanted acrylic, which I don't do, he says. I've just received a hundred acrylic blanks my wife ordered. She says, you'd now do acrylics. She wants oh. money. <laughs> I, no, well, I, I do worry. acrylic. Yeah. You're doing you do acrylics now, right? Ward, because I want one. <laughs> Love it. That's just mean. It's mean. I think, so now um, you can turn them, Ward. I think that's quite now. creative, actually. Well done. <laughs> oh, you would stick up for the woman, of course. Yeah. Mm. Of course. Yeah, trust you to be on her side, Joe. Yeah, women well, always stick together. Yeah. Those women have got to stick together. Yeah, we've got some CA here. Yeah, we can stick you together. Yosha Get says, have you noticed that people put the blank in the other orientation for a thumbnail? You're holding it close to the wind, worker. Yeah, as I. What's he saying now? He's just making personal remarks now. He's got one more chance and he's out the door. <laughs> Would you taste bad? Wait, what? There's a thing called clickbait. I need to get with the 21st century. <laughs> you do, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to use uh, clickbait, um, hashtags. Yep. 
I'm not sure hashtags do all that much difference on, on YouTube. I don't know. I never use them. So, do they still yeah, use them, don't they? Yeah, well, they recommend you use them, don't they? If you do, if you really? do the YouTube tuition thing, they recommend ah, you. Yeah, ah, um, ah, Ben Jammer's point was, uh, Brian, the point is that when you, if you search for returning videos, there are so many with those these thumbnails. So you have to click it and jump to the end to see if it's worth watching. <laughs> Which might be the idea, of course, yeah. But it's annoying. Well, no, the idea is that you click yeah. it and you watch it all the way through. But, on a video, <laughs> if you're doing a video, um, just a video, not a live or anything, you, know, you, you could easily put the finished item up as a as a thumbnail. Easily. The biggest problem we've got is not there's not a lot that's new in wood turning. So you know I mean no, there isn't true. much new at the end of the day. You can come up with the occasional variation but Right the boy. I think that's a bit cheeky right the boy. What's she saying? Oh, Brian, do you need, need some newer smocks? Newer smocks, hint, hint, hint. Oh, that means he needs some of you. Oh, I see. Um... Hint, hint. You give him the old smocks. Douglas Smogham says, hashtag flowers for Nicky. That's... <laughs> God, I ain't been out for a while. That's, that's a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. It's back. From... If I brought Michelle flowers, she'd be wondering what I've done wrong. Yeah, Rupert Jay saying, bought you, Jay bought Chloe some flowers the other day, and she the first thing Jay bought Chloe some flowers the other day in their house. And the first thing Nicholas said, "What's he done wrong?" Yeah. Yeah. Done? Oh, and that's nice, Pete. <laughs> oh, that's nice shape. Look at that. Yeah, that lovely, lovely boy. Like a that. Beautiful color. Uh, mm -hmm. Super. Super. Nice um, undercut in the rim too. Yep. Yeah, it's lovely. And I don't know about that split. Is it loose or did, did the glue hold it? Um, it's come apart slightly, okay. but it's also delaminating a lot. There's like a knot. Oh, really yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, see that, yeah. Then we bit, you might want to go to the overhead to let us see it. That's it there, yeah, yeah we got it. There. Mm. Oh, yeah. Delaminating. Um, right. So... That's what I was bouncing off. You know what you could do there, Pete? You could dig that out a little bit and then fill it with a bit of resin and then re it. Resin? Right. Yeah, but then I can't put it on the fire, Brian, because it don't burn well. Oh, resin burns uh, really well, Pete. Oh, it does? Yeah, but my neighbours couldn't like it. Oh, no. Might complain about the smell, yeah. Well, Lucy says, I love the shape. I like the shape of that, Pete. I do. Yeah, it's very nice. Mark Whittington's is very nice, Pete. Yeah, it's a slight OG, which, you know, I will admit to. Um, <laughs> no, it's not, is it? Let me let me see that again. I don't it believe is. it's an OG. <laughs> don't you ever dare tell me off about turning an OG again, Pete Ravenscroft. I can hold it level to the camera and you'll be able to see. That's not an OG. Uh, there is a very that's not an OG. OG There's a little bit of a flare. That's just, yeah. that's just a flared rim. Mm. It's uh, a flared rim, that's right, Terry. It's not yeah. an OG at all. No, it's an OG. Um, but uh, yeah, it's. it's Quite a nice shape. If it wasn't for that split on the inside, um, it might be worth yeah. keeping. But well, everybody's saying how nice it is, Pete. So don't burn it. Yeah. Oh, it's getting burnt. Definitely getting. Give burnt. it to Ruby. Ruby likes that's it. She wants to put a flower put so on it. That's why you put so much wax on it. Burn better with wax. On yep. <laughs> late late season when there's loads of wax on it. That's it. No, it's definitely getting burnt. That one. But um. Hey. Yeah, You're it's nice burning stuff. Thanks That's everybody for coming in. Um, same reason Pete turns you. them so you can Thank burn them. Calling, Pete. Yeah. Hey, actually, yes, a new um, channel name's Pete. Turn and burn by Pete. <laughs> turn and burn. burn. Extreme biography. Douglas Mungham says, send it to him, please. Nope, burning it. <laughs> burning it. You can't have seconds, Douglas. You've got to have it. When it's a good piece, he might send it. Yeah, but when it's a good it's piece, good. you can buy it off me, but uh, if it's a bad yeah. piece, I'll burn it. But uh, That's where it goes. Wood dude's got another idea. He said, yeah. "Don't burn it, Pete. Sell it and send me the cash." Um, no. <laughs> the dude does nude. <laughs> That's the next channel coming up. He's on okay, two weeks' time, apparently. 
He's finding a slot. He's on two weeks' time, Stephen. He's doing. He's starting to do lives. You can do Thursday evening if you want. A couple of weeks' time. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock Thursday evening. Tuesday yeah. lunch. Uh, Friday lunchtime. Wayne's not yeah. doing Friday lunch times anymore. Yeah, Friday lunch time. Sure. You know, Wayne's There's not doing them. Go to slots if you want them. Or you can There's do Sundays. Clash with me. I just won't bother. Don't True. do Sundays. Don't give Terry any excuses. No, <laughs> he don't need an excuse, does he? No, he doesn't really. No, he just doesn't do it. Just need a book holiday. That's all I need to do. I'm getting, I've been here too long now. I need a holiday. Anyhow, it's been grand. Thanks all for coming in. I'm going to hit the button. Yeah, thanks, everybody. Bye, don't everybody. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up.